Chateau on the Park is an iconic building which offers so much to Christchurch. While we enjoy what the Chateau has to offer, I'm going to catch up with CTV's very own Mary Ann Jackson. And I get to catch up with John Gatsby, an iconic Cantabrian, and talk about his past here at the Chateau. Here we are down at the den at the Shadow in the Park and with me at the moment, my good mate John Gatsby. John, you've been uh, hanging around the Shadow for a while now. Oh yeah, yeah well, off and on, this was a really good place to be, you know, and uh, this little den of the Red Foxes, you know, was uh, it was a great place, sort of late at night and things like that. You met all sorts of people in here. There are people coming through town, you know. If these walls could talk, they... <laughs> They wouldn't be allowed to. Yeah, a the, few the, airline stewardess stories from back in the day, I think. Oh, yes, yes. There are too many secrets here. Now, the one that got me, though, is you almost set the place on fire. Ah, uh, well, that's a different story. That was uh, that was making a TV programme through in the, in the main restaurant, which was called the Camelot in those days, with uh, a guy called... Uh, it was an Aussie star called Barry Crocker, and he, he was a singer as well. He also played the part of... Uh, Baza McKenzie in the Adventures of Baza McKenzie. Well, he was doing uh, live TV. MacPhail and I were doing some sketches in his show. It's an audience made up of all these people dining in the in the the main place in the Camelot restaurant. And we, I was doing, playing the part of a very incompetent waiter, Major D. MacPhail playing the part of a diner. I was trying to do a, a flambe and uh, live on TV. And uh, we were using brandy, and the uh, directors said, no, that's no use, it's no use, you can't see the flames. And so one genius in the props department said, oh, I don't know, we'll, we'll substitute lighter fluid. So no one was going to eat it. <laughs> so we substituted lighter fluid, right? We'd had a rehearsal with the flames, but we hadn't had a rehearsal with the fire extinguisher. So that was live, all live on TV. So I come out with the... the do the flambe for McPhail and waving this pan around in front of his face. Oh, monsieur, mademoiselle, this is beautiful. Beautiful. And they go, ah, he's got on fire. Pick up a fire extinguisher. And something made me just sort of turn before I blasted it. This, all the contents of the frying pan and everything just shot out all over the floor, set fire to the restaurant. With all the punters sitting around eating, the restaurant's on fire. I'm running around with a fire extinguisher trying to put it out. I think the people thought it was still part of the sketch. So he's almost burnt the place down. Yeah. We're doing a fun little skit tonight, not going anywhere near a prop set. I got to it before the earthquakes did. Good on you, mate. Mm. Well, listen, we're going to go and have some dinner and uh, see what's on offer on the old menu here. And uh, we'll come back to you in a minute. Marianne Jackson is a familiar face to many of us here in Christchurch. She's been the receptionist for CTV for many years now and she's fondly known as our rock and highly regarded by many of us. Welcome Marianne. Thank you Bridget. Lovely to have you here. Uh, it's still got a great charm about the place, like coming in for a drink after work, um, lovely meal and it's not just about people staying here is it? No, it's a lovely atmosphere, nice and warm and cosy. It certainly is. So, and Mary Ann used to work here for many years, so uh, she's been telling me a few funny stories, but one that springs to mind is the sheepskin room. Yes, it was very famous for honeymooners and also for pre ball drinks. They'd come in and book it for pre pre ball drinks, and um, yes, all sorts happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, yes, I can imagine it would have been popular. I think John Gadsby said he knew about it too. <laughs> Christchurch knew about it. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Well, we're going to be catching up with John and Nick for a lovely dinner soon, so we'll um, talk further about those funny stories. Lovely to have you with me, Mary Ann. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to welcome to the table Mary Ann and John. Fantastic to see you guys. Thank you. Now, Mary Ann, darling, you have a few skeletons in the old closet here. <laughs> I could tell lots of stories about the famous people that stayed here over the years when I worked here. Yes. Spill the beans. Spill the oh, beans. Too much to tell. Yeah. <laughs> put, it, put it this way, I think she has to start her own blog because we've been laughing I hear some of those stories. And uh, yeah, really a lot of fun to have here. 
John, what are you up to? Do you know, I know most of the people she's talking about, <laughs> but my lips are sealed. They're, they're oh. absolutely oh, really? sealed. Yeah. Aren't you going to start your own blog about this too? Well, I probably, I probably shall. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, that would be defamatory. But the. It's lovely to be here. It brings back so many memories here. Now, our meals are getting cold, so I don't want to let these delicious meals go to waste. Big thank you very much to Mary Ann and John for coming down tonight. It's been great to see you. Absolutely fantastic. Don't forget, you can try out the Shadow on the Park seven days a week, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And don't forget about the den, which is great for a drink after work and just still great atmosphere. I love to sit by the fire and catch up with friends. All available to Christchurch Cantabrians. Come on down. Cheers, everybody. Shadow on the Park. Here's the Shadow Lovely on the Park. Lovely to see you all.